welcome back. So it's the month of love and you don't even need an excuse to celebrate the love for breakfast food. Joining us is Chef Beth Barden of Succotash. So this is so cool because you guys have this famous breakfast burrito called the Burrito of Love. How long have you guys been making it? Uh, actually started about 18 years ago. It was one of the first uh, menu items that was on my menu and it's been around since the very beginning. Okay, so that's huge. What's actually all in this? Okay, so it's a huge big buttermilk pancake mm -hmm. which we're going to start by making over here. Okay. And it's basically a pancake the size of a plate <laughs> which then gets cooked. And I think all pancakes should probably be the size <laughs> yeah. of a plate, yeah. Pretty much, you pretty much need something just that big. What kind of fry are you using right now? I am using just a, a griddle, but you can use a pan or mm -hmm. pretty much anything you want like to cook a typical pancake. Because of the size of this, I'm going a little bit larger in this griddle. Um, and then we'll take two eggs. Okay. And if you want to crack those. Okay, we got that. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And then we'll whisk those up really quickly. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> yeah, sure, we awesome. gotta go. We gotta go fast. We got a couple minutes to cook on, up the burrito on, of love. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> or it's gonna be the burrito of like forgotten love and sadness. I do make so many omelets and egg dishes, so awesome. I'm okay with this one. Okay, All right. So I don't want to be go. in trouble for yeah. that. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna give it a little, little tinier whisk. Yes. Got that going? And we're actually yep. going to eventually add some bacon because I can smell the, all the bacon in the air right now. You know, we're going to add so much bacon. And typically the burrito of love at the restaurant only has uh, two slices in it. We're going to go hard here. I Better feel like I'm going to yep. put four in it because it's <laughs> it's one of those wonderful like uh, morning things that needs to happen. Okay, so the eggs are done that fast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn off the induction burner because really I don't use one. And this is kind of terrifying, but I feel it's like just it's just beeping off. everywhere. Yeah. Yep. So come over here. So the trick to a great pancake, and I don't know how well you can see this, but is you want to use a little bit of fat mm -hmm. so that it has a nice crispy edge, which is kind of the beautiful part. And then you get all these nice bubbles. And when you get bubbles, you kind of want to wait till they start to form in the middle as well. Because if you flip it when they're just at the edge, you're going to end up tearing it just like that. Yeah, you got to wait until it's all <laughs> formed. Yep. So I'm used to like the rush of a line, but I'm not used to the rush of like... TV, make, yeah, it's different. make us the burrito of love in just four minutes. I'm going to yes. do it. It's going to happen. All right, so shortly this pan thing is going to be ready to be flipped. We'll just wait for it to heat up until, until it's all then, ready. It's going to be know, awesome. Let's switch gears. Where do you actually get the bacon and the eggs? Okay, so the bacon is from Web City, Iowa, which is fantastic. It's yeah. a 10 cut per pound, which is kind of insane. We have some over here that I can show you. So I'm going to throw this in here as well. I'm going to just Thank reach you. over. We got to get a close up shot of the bacon. Yeah, right? it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it looks like if somebody were drawing a picture of bacon, that would be the bacon. Yep. And it kind of permeates the entire room. Sorry, you can't smell it. Uh, okay. The eggs. So come can we from put the bacon in? In a moment. Okay, Dante, we'll do we got to wait. We got to wait. We can't throw All it right. in yet. So cheese goes on as if it were a burrito. Yep. And then the eggs go in. And while the pancake is finishing, you and add then we're the gonna add things. four pieces. Oh, I'm gonna add, yeah, I'm gonna go hard here. <laughs> so we're loving our cholesterol this morning. I'm better. Oh City, yeah, completely. But it's gonna be great. I feel like it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I feel well, like it's gonna be fine. Your whole life's gonna be just fine. Yeah, guys. for real. Okay, now where do we put syrup? Because I, I think the burrito of love involves some syrup, right? Okay, so it involves syrup or it involves gravy, whichever you prefer. Okay. So Which people prefer? either go savory or sweet. I, you know, kind of either. It depends. I prefer a little bit of syrup. Uh, my mom was always a fan of like not being able to decide whether she wanted um, savory or sweet. So that's a really lunky looking one, but it's really delicious anyway. Well, I think we're going to have to go with uh, whatever's closest at this point. If we've got gravy, if we've got Either syrup, one. we're just going to throw it on. We're going to take a bite because you worked really hard on this masterpiece. Beth, of course, the creator of the Burrito of Love, something that maybe you consider for Valentine's Day. Maybe you just consider it for a lazy Sunday afternoon. I mean, it's so good. Here, I can hold it while you dig in. <laughs> I think at this point, I, I, I'm just going to have to go for a little bit of pancake. There you go. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. Over to you, Bill.